Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. This is the greatest experience I've just remembered. On June 3, 1965, NASA astronaut Edward White became the first American to walk in space when he spent about 23 minutes outside the Gemini 4 spacecraft maneuvering around with a handheld oxygen jet gun. That mission also was the first time the agency's famed Mission Control Center at the Johnson Space Center was used. NASA's celebration of the first U.S. spacewalk, also known as an extravehicular activity, or EVA, included a documentary narrated by actor John Cryer and featuring NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden, Deputy Administrator David Newman, and others. The film, titled Suit Up, focused on the five-decade history of spacewalks and the future of humans working on a tether in space. NASA's Associate Administrator for Science and astronaut John Gronsfeld was one of four people inducted into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame during a recent ceremony at Kennedy Space Center's Visitor Complex. The other inductees are former astronauts Steve Lindsay, Kent Rominger, and M. Ray Seda. That brings the total number of Hall of Fame space explorers to 91. Data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope show two of Pluto's moons, Nix and Hydra, are wobbling about unpredictably. The moons are in this state presumably because they are located in the constantly shifting gravitational field that exists between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. Scientists believe Pluto's other two moons, Kerberos and Styx, also are likely experiencing effects of that gravitational instability. These new discoveries are being used to plan science observations for NASA's New Horizons spacecraft's flyby of Pluto in mid-July. The 2015 Atlantic hurricane season began on June 1st, much like last year's ended, quietly. No major hurricanes measuring Category 3 or above have made landfall in the U.S. for the past nine years, and 2015 is also expected to be a quiet season. Resource imagery and data of past hurricanes is available online at NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio website. Just navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash svs.gsfc.nasa.gov and search 2015 hurricane. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden helped recognize the best of the best at NASA during the Agency Honor Awards June 2nd at Kennedy Space Center. The annual awards highlight the distinguished contributions of the honorees and thank them for their valued service to NASA and its mission. NASA officials and representatives from the agency's commercial partners rang the closing bell of the New York Stock Exchange on June 4th. NASA's work with the companies is boosting the growth of the U.S. commercial space industry, providing greater access to low Earth orbit, and creating new jobs and markets. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.